So when I was 18, one of my friends convinced me that stop signs were optional after 6 p.m. <laughs> Megan. Unquestioningly believed him. I was just like, oh cool, yeah, that makes sense. And I just kept driving and we were driving to breakfast. We finally came to a stop sign and he was like, Meg, you gotta stop. I was joking, please stop at the stop sign. It was, a, yeah. For the, so you were getting breakfast after 6 p.m.? Today, we're making scones. Yeah! Oh, scone, you better don't. I just want to say that I actually don't approve of any of these. <laughs> There's going to be so many fun. So, scones are actually a pretty simple recipe. The only ingredients we have are flour, baking powder, baking soda, salt. Oh, fuck, I forgot the salt. Hang on. This is... Kosher salt! <laughs> Not okay. cut. And salt. Not just because Carolyn is Jewish, but also because kosher salt is great in baking. Megan. What? <laughs> David is also my grandpa. Too. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, did he invent salt? No. Oh. Um, heavy cream, butter, sugar, and we're adding chocolate chips stolen from Michael and cinnamon. See, Michael helps for once. So take the bowl and the first thing we're going to do is add all the dry ingredients. So the flour, half a teaspoon of baking soda, okay. quarter cup of white sugar, amazing, and two teaspoons of baking powder, okay. and another half a teaspoon of the kosher salt. We're going to practice our whisking skills again. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm so ready. Well, at least I'm getting Chip better. To be honest, all you have to do is combine it. So once everything's okay. generally mixed together, you're good. It's okay, it's generally mixed together. We have right here a whole ass stick of butter cut into pieces, chilled. With pastry, it's really important that you use chilled butter. Because otherwise it just like, if it's room temperature, it just melts when you put it in the oven and then it's a mess and you get shit all over your oven. I don't want shit on my oven. Therefore use chilled butter. So, so then we're just going to take these into pieces and we're going to work it in with our hands. Okay. Okay. So, and you're going to mm. want to work it so that the, you start to get little like pea sized pieces. Let me see you work it. Oh, can we play Missy Elliott in the background? <laughs> oh, I want to see you work it. And reverse it. Something, 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 Missy Elliott. Michael, can you provide some background vocals in this, the style of Missy Elliott? Can you sing Missy Wait. Elliott's work oh. it? Oh. Just do it. Yes, you are worth it. Yes. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so all the butter has been worked in, so now Carolyn is going to make a well. So if you don't know what it's like, what it means to make a well, this is it. It's fairly hey, simple. I call it and I can't get out of the well. And then once they make the well, they're going to take the heavy cream mm -hmm. and dump it in there, as well as one egg. Amazing. Ooh. I can do eggs. Now all the ingredients are here. They're gonna take a spoon and they're gonna stir it until it starts to come together. Okay. And then they're gonna work it with their hands. So the key with this is you wanna be very delicate when you're working it with your hands because you okay. wanna be careful not to over knead it. It's the opposite of bread dough where you kinda wanna beat the shit out of it. This, you wanna be really delicate. Dough is like plants. Talk to it. Let it know you care. While they're doing that, I'm gonna mix in one teaspoon of cinnamon and Michael's chocolate chips. I think I said before that I like chunks better than chips, but we didn't have enough chunks, so we use Michael's chips. It's okay, I was just commenting that it's an exciting time to be alive in the times of the chunks and the chips. Okay, so at this point, once you get some of this dry stuff worked in, yeah. you're gonna wanna take this whole last thing put it here and just gently shape it into a circle. It's mostly there. Okay. You're fine, we're not professionals. There we go. I'll help you shape it a bit. Oh, Just because that takes a little bit of practice. So kind of you. I am incredibly generous and selfless and humble. Wow, brag much? I don't actually, it's because I'm so humble. <laughs> She's also very good at red lights. <laughs> I'm really sorry, okay? Wait, that's a red light. Fuck off. 
For those who don't know, I accidentally was an asshole passenger to Rob today, and he won't let me forget it. I just want to make sure he saw the red light. Honestly, it looks like it's in really good shape. We're going to fold it over a couple times and just make sure everything is nice and incorporated. <laughs> I'm preheating the oven to 350 <laughs> degrees. That involves me turning the dial. And having it the numbers. Like me when I tried to explain to you how to drive through a red light or drive through a light, a traffic light, earlier today, Rob. One, two, three. Woo! There we go. Okay. So we're gonna spread it out a little bit, and then we're gonna just cut it into eight pieces. You want me to cut it? No, just for the practice. It's I, up to I you. Just, I just don't want to screw it up. You wouldn't. You'll be fine. Are you sure? You can't screw it up any more than Michael screwed up Missy Elliott's orchid. That is fair. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. Just put your whole body in front of the camera. Oh. Well, <laughs> I'm just trying. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Just like that. Some would say I'm clever because I do comedy at Improv Boston, where you could donate money at improvboston.com and click on donate. Carolyn, I like how you're fucking around on camera while I'm doing all this work. Isn't that your dynamic I, though? Didn't I just do all of the other work? Oh, that's fair. Okay, do you want to brush it with the cream? I would love to brush it with the cream. Can you do me a huge favor? Thank you. Oh, sorry. Just Someone say I'm a scone artist. Who said that? Me. I'm literally just gonna take a handful. And we're good, we're gonna pop it in the oven for about 35 minutes. Okay, are we ready? Yeah! Fuck yeah, fuck yeah! We're gonna take the scones out now. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah! What? Holy Bam! shit! Bam! them to be that big. They're swole! Swole scones! We are all gonna try the cinnamon chocolate scones that me, Carolyn, and Michael contributed to. Oh, look at that. Do you wanna oh, get a wait. shot of that? Scone. Oh, scone she better do. It's going to home. Uh -huh. Honestly, I don't like you don't like the scone? The scone is great! <laughs> the ones are not. You can scone your own way. We'll scone you later. Oh my god. Please help! SOS! Why such scone? Improv Boston. <laughs> Please help me.